Hey guys, recently here in Australia, we've got a brand new restrictor for the Rotax engine. Now, the guys have been trying it on track. Well, today we're gonna to be testing this one versus the old one and comparing the results right here on the Power Public Racing Engine Diner. Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be comparing the new 2022 restrictor for the Rotax engine versus last year's 24.5 millimeter restrictor and see what the differences are. Doesn't sound like a lot, it's only a millimeter in diameter, but on the engine dyno, we're gonna be able to see how much power we've lost or gained with the new restrictor. So let's get into it. So first up, we're gonna try the new restrictor with the 23.5 millimeter hole. This is the one we're gonna be racing with in 2022. So we've finished doing the first test run with the new restrictor for 2022. And you can see max power is at about 22 and a half horsepower. And then it has a bit of a drop, which is pretty constant for road tax engines anyway. Um, what we're missing really is a bit of mid-range power and once we go to the bigger restrictor in a minute you're going to be able to see that. Uh, we're logging EGT, water temperature and also lambda there or air fuel ratio and what we're going to see in a minute is how much the new restrictor versus the old res restrictor changes, um, maybe gas temperature and our air fuel ratios. Uh, without making any adjustments to the carbur carburetor, we're literally just going to change the exhaust plate and then re do a retest on the engine and compare the results. So now that we've uh, done the test with the first restrictor, we're going to change over to last year's restrictor. This one here we have used um, a few times and I'm going to slip that straight into the exhaust socket and do the repeat test without changing anything else so we can really get a fair comparison between the two. And for the guys that aren't familiar with Rotax restricted racing. We use them here in Australia just to take a little bit of the power out from the standard Rotax engine for the new guys when they come into the sport. Sometimes it's just a bit easier on the neck and the ribs, a bit easier to drive with not such an abrupt power delivery that the Rotax delivers. Um, this was introduced maybe 10, 12 years ago, something like that. And it's a really popular class here in Australia. We've got them in each category sorry, each engine, each type of engine has one of these plates to give parity between all the engines. The 125 that is anyway, which is the IAMI X30. Um, obviously this is a Rotax Senior Max 125. You can use the Junior Max 125. The PRD Galaxy has one. And they've all got different sized restrictor holes to give it uh, equal performance, depending on which brand you've got for a different weight for the different weight categories so yeah i mean it's a little bit complicated especially since the evo's been developed the engine is really awesome um, and with the new restrictor size it's trying to get it back to parity with the x30 but maybe it's gone a little too far because the guys are saying that on track it's really hard to keep up with the x30s with their revi revised exhaust manifold from last year it increasing in size from 22 millimeters all the way up to 22.7 well this one here was 24 and a half which is this is the one that we're putting in now and this year it's changed down to a 23 and a half so it's closer to the x30s um, restrictor size but who knows on track what that's going to do but we're going to be able to see in a couple of minutes how much power variation there was between the two quite easily here on the power of public engine data. So what you can see here is down below 8,000, both restrictor plates are almost identical. And then uh, as the RPMs increase, 
to eight and a half thousand power valve is well and truly wide open uh, yeah the power is substantially down with this new restrictor from say 23.8 down to 22.5 so we're knocking about one and a half peak horsepower out of the engines and also that's all the way through the rev range here um, right up into the top end so clearly the old restrictor is better but at a lighter weight is the new one going to do the deal i don't know we're going to, only time will tell so stay tuned uh, as we go racing all year uh, to see if this thing can step it up even at the new weight of 160 kilos and this is the x30 versus the rotax and you can see here the last year's restrictor is 23.8 and the x30 23.8 so the same power but obviously the rotax makes it a little bit earlier and the x30 makes it a bit later so you can rev the uh, um, x30 a little higher all the way up to 15,000 rpms whereas your rotax is going to tap out at about 14 and a half but peak power was about the same a little bit extra bottom end in the rotax a little bit more top end with the x30 here above 12,000 rpms but realistically on track they were almost um, identical they were really good so this year with the new power being that little bit lower I think you're going to struggle a little bit if you don't have an X30 racing engine. So there you have it. The results are in. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate all you guys every week giving us comments, in the, <laughs> leaving us comments down below, asking questions, following us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic. Don't forget also, you can go to our amazing website, www.powerpublic.com.au and get yourself an amazing t-shirt or our unreal, incredible racing rituals tutorial series. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.